Can we do it again? Can I role play with anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. How you guys doing this morning? Good, yeah, man. Good. Very good. Good. Thanks for having me. You're the homeowner. Ring, ring, ring. Okay, I'm the homeowner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, Mr. Homeowner. Say that again. Mrs. Home, Mrs. Home, is this Mrs. Homeowner? No. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, hey, Mrs. Homeowner. This is Ricky Truth with Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing today? Oh, I'm fine, but you know what? I really don't have time to talk. I got you. Look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. The house around the corner just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. That's all. Well, that's nice, but you know what? Well, listen, just real quick, is there an agent you would deal with if you were to do something? Uh, well, uh, well, actually, we we talked about it, but we're just not ready right now. Okay, well, I'm sure you will be in like maybe five or ten years. I would um, love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Maybe in about five years. Okay, cool. Like I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be alright if I just stayed in touch? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, cool. What's your email? Um, see, your see, see, awesome. like, like, I like, you know, handled her. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the whole, like, you know, putting on the, you know, the weird homeowner thing. But see, the thing is, is that's probably maybe one or two out of ten. Okay, now be the nice homeowner. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> see, like, see, like, like the, the thing is, is I crushed her. You know what I mean? Like, like she was being the, the I'm too busy homeowner thing, yeah. but I just broke right through and I got to the part where she told me she wants to maybe do something in five years and wants her email address, right? So I crushed that. Let me give you the real one though, that the more realistic one, okay? Can I just tell you one thing? Yeah. Well, I was doing a cold call this a few years back before the do not call. And I called, and I was just going down the list, down the list, just calling, calling, calling. And some people would answer, some people would and I, I got a few tips off of it and But this one, this one lady, I called her and I said, hello, uh, this is Kenneth. I'm with uh, the town of the Bobo Bank. And I said, I was just wondering, have you thought about selling your house or, mm -hmm. or like that? And she said, this is the craziest call I've ever had in my yeah. life. Do yeah. not call me back. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, okay. Can I tell you why that happened? Why? Because you asked her if she wanted to sell her house. Yeah, I said, I have you ever thought about it. Right. Okay. You asked but her. I think that I have a little bit more to it, but something. But that's all she heard. Yeah. Okay? She might have, you might have said stuff, but yeah. that's all she heard. Okay, that's what that's what's saying. killing the industry. What's the dialogue? I just gave it to you, but let's do it again. You ready? Okay. You going to be nice this time? <laughs> 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 but no, I'm going to be with just like You be whatever you want to be. <laughs> I think the thing is, is you're stereotyping age groups to act a certain way on the phone, and that's horrible. That's a horrible way to think. There's so many diversity of people. It's your tone. When when they hear the real estate and you sound whatever and you want to sell your house, they're thinking, oh, red flag, got to get out of here. It's a real estate agent trying to sell me something. I don't want to be sold. Listen to what I've said. Okay. I don't want to take up too much of her time. A house around the corner sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. And, you know, okay. Um, well, I've got kids and uh, crying over here and they want their lunch. Lit. I just don't have time. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye. Like business is unlimited. I can't call all the property owners. If somebody is just 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 it, just point blank does not want to talk to me, and they're gonna hang up or say they're kidding. Like it's your tone. Your tone. When you're on the phone, pe people people are gonna create walls, okay, for people that they don't want to talk to because of your tone. If you call and you have this friendly, inviting voice, I, and you—that's—that's that's, that's 
<laughs> but you're asking them. If they, but you're asking them if they want to buy. You're asking them if they want to sell their house. That's where. That's the disconnect. You see what I'm saying? Is there anything in the world I can do for you? That's what you said. That's the dialogue. That's the dialogue. That's it. You don't say you want to sell a house. They know what you're there for. You said you were with the real estate company. Okay. Yeah. Now it's like. Can we do it again? Can I role play with anybody else? <laughs> 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 Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just do it with somebody else so you can see see how it actually goes. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Mr. Homeowner. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm doing good. This is Ricky Crew with Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? I'm oh, good, Ricky. Good, man. I'm uh I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? It is. Cool, well look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Um, not right now, you know, we're good, but. Cool, cool, is there an agent you would work with if you were to do something? No, I don't have one. Cool, well look, man, I'm sure at some point in the future, you're gonna to want to do something at some point. I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it be all right if I just stayed in touch with you? Yeah, sure. Cool, what's your email address? Boom, that's every, single conversation go go to my youtube and watch me make live calls there's like 10 videos of real live calls you're asking them how they're doing right. you're asking them if it's the right person like is this mr johnson and then you're saying how are you doing that's two questions then you're saying i'm enjoying the day isn't it gorgeous or it's raining cats and dogs just trying to stay dry and nasty out there did you enjoy your your new year's you know how was your christmas whatever something non-real estate related that's three questions in no no real estate right now wait those three questions are designed to, to get a response to them so you can read them on the phone to see what's going on with them. You know what I mean? You're not just reading a script. You're having a conversation. And then and then from there, like 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 if I ran into a lady like what you were trying to be, and like you are too busy, that's why I didn't talk about the weather or anything the first time we role played, because when I get the sense that you are busy. I'm going straight to, okay, so I'm, so I'm not trying to take up too much of your time, but a house on the corner just sold and if there's anything I could do for you. You know, I just try to throw it in there real quick because I'm trying to respect their time and I'm reading them for what's going on with them at that specific time. See, it's deeper than just a script. It, it's lining up who you are as a person that you care about people, lining that up with how you're communicating. That's the disconnect. You really care, you're a hard worker, you're honest, you're professional, you're everything that a client wants you to be. But if you don't line that those traits up with how you're communicating and learn how to communicate that to your clients, that's the skill. Like that's what's gonna carry you through anything is being able to talk to people and relay to them that you care about them, that you're not there just for a deal. You're not like every other agent. You're not just trying to sell a piece of property. You're trying to help them accomplish that bigger goal because their mom died or the kids went to college. You know, finding out why people want to do stuff, that's when you really go deeper with these relationships. When you operate like this, these people will never use another agent, ever. You are their guy or girl forever. And they're going to refer everybody they know to you. And all of a sudden, every person that you talk to that you create this relationship with is worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career through repeat business referrals and referrals and referrals. And now you're selling 100 properties a year for five years straight.